hello friends today our topic of discussion is decelerate rigidity and decorticate rigidity coming to what are the synonyms of decelerate rigidity it includes abnormal extension or decelerate rigidity or extensor posturing or decelerate response what is the posturing seen in these decelerate rigidity it includes adduction internal rotation of shoulder extension at the elbow with pronation of forearm and flexion of fingers and lower limbs shows extension internal rotation at hip and the extension of knee and plantar flexion of foot toes are abducted and hyperextended coming to the posturing we can see the upper limbs are adducted and internally rotated with extension of elbow and pronation of forearm and flexion of fingers and there is extension at knee and plantar flexion of foot so this is decelerate posturing then why the decelerate posture occurs because the from vestibular nucleus there is the vestibulo spinal tract the vestibulo spinal tract help in activation of extensor motor neurons in spinal cord and inhibition of flexor motor neurons so normally this extensor response will be inhibited by higher brain centers at cortex and cerebellum so preventing this extensor reflex when this normal inhibitory response from higher centers will, uh, is lost then the extensor hypotonia will occur because of the vestibulo spinal tract so it causes decelerate posturing then decorticate posturing what are the synonyms decelerate is extensor posturing this is flexor so abnormal flexion decorticate rigidity or flexor posturing or decorticate response this is how the patient will look we'll discuss again in this abnormal flexion of arms with extension of legs specifically it involves slow flexion of elbow wrist fingers with adduction and internal rotation of shoulder the lower limb will be same as in decelerate rigidity like extension and internal rotation of hip extension at knee and plantar flexion of feet and toes adducted and hyperextended so you can see same like decelerate we have adduction and internal rotation of shoulder but flexion of elbow and flexion at wrist and flexion of fingers then extension and plantar flexion as same as in decelerate rigidity so why the decorticate posturing occurs the red nucleus via rubro spinal tract causes flexion and grasping type of reflex of upper limb as the higher brain centers like cerebral cortex which inhibits this reflex during normal physiology, physiology with the lesion of the normal cortical spinal tract the red nucleus is disinhibited so the red nucleus causes the abnormal flexion of upper limb so causes abnormal flexion of upper limb because of disinhibition and lower limbs are extended because the vestibulo spinal tract is also disinhibited so this is how these decelerate and decorticate rigidity occurs thank you actually the decelerate posturing we know it is implies a destructive structural lesion but it can also occur in reversible metabolic disturbances such as hypoglycemia and hepatic encephalopathy
Thank you.